Are sandbags cost-effective for flood protection? Well, traditionally, sandbags have been used instead of flood barriers to build walls, block entrances, and drains, as well as weighing down manhole covers. Now, sand is naturally porous, and it actually acts as a filter, and it's used in sewage treatment as a rapid filter. But to help keep water out, they should be used in conjunction with plastic sheeting. Sandbags are ineffective when compared with specially designed flood protection products, which can be deployed far quicker. The main issue with sandbags, though, is that they do not perform their primary role well. In Sir Michael Pitt's review of the 2007 floods, he states that the review was unable to find any significant evidence that sandbags were particularly effective during the 2007 summer floods in providing protection to individual households. But actually, are they cost effective? Well, a common misconception is that sandbags are a cheap, cost-effective method of flood defence. However, this is not the case. According to Flood Pact, parishes and communities together, a sandbag flood protection barrier, which is 0.6 metres high, requires around 50 plus filled sandbags per linear metre. Therefore, a linear metre of sandbagging alone costs a staggering £200, with each sandbag, each filled sandbag, around £4. Therefore, covering a 15 metre entrance could cost £3,000 in sandbags alone. Sandbags are incredibly labour intensive, and the cost we just spoke about there doesn't account for the cost of the labour. There's often not time to construct them for flash flooding, and as they're only usable once, the investment is high per flood because there's a tax on the disposal of the used sandbags because they're contaminated waste. They can harbour diseases and bacteria, so they should not be reused and need to be disposed of. They tend to hold contaminants such as sewage, and so gloves should be worn when handling them. It's important to remain vigilant for symptoms associated with dirty water, such as hepatitis or even Viles disease. We strongly recommend being prepared in advance with proven property flood resilience measures. We'll be doing more of these videos to help raise awareness of flood risk and climate change, so be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to make sure you're notified of our next upload. Thanks everyone.